hi guys good afternoon i'm a bit really excited today do you know what day it is guess what <laughs> you know we've been living apart gabriel and i for the past um since we got married and we've been in a long distance marriage obviously we've been communicating but it still doesn't fill the void of you being married and living and not living together with your husband or wife so i'm excited because it's coming to england after we before we got married we did had a conversation on who is moving and gabriel was on about me moving from the uk to ireland <laughs> so we've been back and forth on this and I managed to convince him that, you know, I can't just leave UK and move to Ireland. After a couple of months, I've been able to convince him that, you know, me, I still, I'm currently living in the UK. I can't just move because I still have restrictions with my Nigerian passport. And why don't you move to the UK instead? And after a while, probably later in the future i can consider moving to ireland with you so he finally agreed and i'm excited because uh this is we are counting down to him coming moving finally to the uk and he's coming tomorrow so i'm on my way i want to get ready to go to work today i thought to just send the short video i'm excited i've missed him and i love him so much and i can't wait for him to finally move to live with me and for us to start our family together yeah together rather than him being in a different country and me being in a different country i'm very excited <laughs> bye see you <laughs> hi guys welcome to our channel today i'm just going to be discussing briefly top apps that you can use while in africa for free and try to meet your white husband or your white boyfriend the number one app that is very popular is afro introduction afro introduction made the list because it's one of the most popular app and if you're on afro introduction you don't need to pay and you can still message people afro introduction will allow you view potential match profile you view their about them you can like their page you can also send them messages for free and for you to get to know the person that has paid if you send a message and the message is showing that this person can't read that message because they are, are not a premium member you know that they've not paid and that means they can view your messages another advantage of afro introduction is you can go to your settings and filter your match you can filter to specific countries if you prefer men in let's say poland italy uk canada you can also filter to those countries you can also see the people that have viewed your profile on afro introduction and i would advise that if you're on afro introduction don't subscribe because if you subscribe you might end up chatting with men that don't have the financial capacity to start a family men that haven't subscribed because once you've subscribed you can send messages to everyone free and you won't know who has paid and who has not paid so it's advisable that you don't pay so that you can be able to fish out and filter those unserious people because men on there that are looking to get married and settle down they won't mind paying for subscription until they find the right man and another advantage of afro introduction is you can search by members currently online you can see members that are currently online to send messages to the next app we are going to be discussing is interracial dating center interracial dating center is another good app and you can filter your match you can select the age range that you're looking for you can filter the countries you're looking for and you can also view people's profile you can flirt with them the disadvantage of Af uh, interracial dating center is you can't send message except you're a premium member again i would advise that you don't need to pay you don't meet, need to subscribe just keep searching but consistently sending flats to all of those men and also the reason why interracial dating center is good is because just like afro introduction you will be able to see those that have subscribe and you'll be able to send messages for free to those that have subscribed the third app that is also good that you can use for free is f dating f dating is a good 
website to try to date outside your race because we have dating you can send messages for free you can view profiles for free and another good feature with have dating is if you view a profile it will tell you how many times different people has viewed that profile so for example if you view a profile and you're seeing that 1355 people has viewed that profile you see that there will be lots of competition that person will be receiving loads of messages so you can just still send messages to them but there are higher chances they already have people they are talking with however if you view a profile and you see that only 10 people has viewed this profile probably that member is new hasn't been on the dating site for long is not receiving a lot of uh, messages so you have a higher chance out of 12 people for that person to get serious with you another thing i forgot to mention about interracial dating center is that on their profile you see who is looking for a black person because they put race they will say what race are you looking for and you can say i'm looking for white and you can put the setting to exclusive or preferred so if you're viewing a profile and you see people looking for black women and they put it as exclusive that means they are strictly looking for only black women and you stand a chance but if you view a profile and that person is looking for asian women or white women so you don't don't even bother sending messages because your race is not part of their preferred race and aside from that there are also tinder but the disadvantage of tinder if you're looking to date outside your race and you're still in africa it's tinder will only merge you to people within your vicinity so that means if you're in this one country they will merge you to people within that country and most likely you'll be seeing just blacks so if you're looking to date outside your race tinder will not be a good option except you would uh, subscribe and if you subscribe to tinder you can change your location you can travel to us and start viewing people profiles within us or to travel to poland or spain and start viewing people within spain another good interracial dating app is bumble however bumble will require you to subscribe but i've got a lot of friends that met their life partner on bumble so aside from that i would also pray that before you send messages while you're on online dating site try to view their profile try to read about them because if you view somebody's profile if that person say i'm looking to have fun i'm looking for a good time you know that that person is not even looking for anything serious so please view invest time in reading their profile because sometimes you might be sending messages and people you're meeting are not serious that's because there were all of the red flags but you didn't pay attention to them so i wish you all the best in your online search thank you bye